So this just happened in Sacramento, California. Sacramento police have announced the first arrest in the deadliest mass shooting in state capital history. 26-year-old Dondre Martin faces several charges, including assault and being a felon in possession of a firearm. We know that the victims, the ones that are dead, six dead, three men and three women, all adults. We know there are multiple shooters. We know they haven't been found. We know that there was a stolen handgun found at the scene and some buildings were hit by bullets. Personally, I think this was a shootout, not a mass shooting. Yes, there is a difference. A mass shooting insinuates that you have one or more people trying to randomly kill as many innocent people as possible. I think this was one gang or gang member or gang members shooting at another gang or gang member where there were innocent people caught in a crossfire. Now, the reason why this distinction matters is because the phrase mass shooting has now become a political call to action. The phrase mass shooting is literally a bat symbol to all of the anti-gun groups and politicians to come in and push for gun control no matter what. Which is exactly what Joe Biden did in a statement put out by the White House not even 24 hours after the shooting. And it reads, but we must do more than mourn, we must that is why my administration has taken historic executive action to implement my comprehensive gun crime reduction strategy. From standing up gun trafficking strike forces to helping cities across the country expand community violence intervention and hire more police officers for community policing. We also continue to call on Congress to act. Ban ghost guns, require background checks for all gun sales, ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines, repeal the gun manufacturer's immunity from liability, pass my budget proposal, which would give cities more of the funding they need to fund the police and fund the crime prevention and intervention strategies that can make our city safer. These are just a few of the steps Congress urgently needs to do to save lives. This shooting, it took place in Sacramento, California. In California, They've banned high capacity magazines. They've restricted so-called assault weapons. You have to pass a background check, not only to buy and purchase every gun, but ammunition also. You can have ammo or ghost gun parts shipped directly to your home. Sacramento, by way of being in California, has every gun control measure that Joe Biden just mentioned. This is pure and utter stupidity. He's literally proving the point that we've been making for years. Gun control does not work. This is just dumb. Can someone explain to me what the gun manufacturer's immunity from liability has to do with the price of tea in China regarding the shooting? Gun manufacturers don't have a blanket immunity anyway. So the fact that he keeps bringing that up also demonstrates how much of a liar he is. I'm telling y'all, the only thing they care about is using these incidents to gain more control by way of gun control laws. But most importantly, what this should show you is that they will never stop. They like to paint the picture that they just want common sense gun measures and that they're gonna stop at a certain point because they're considered common sense. But think about it. Imagine after another shooting, are they gonna say, well, we've already had enough of our common sense gun laws? Or are they gonna say, we need more gun control laws on top of the gun control laws that we said we need more of the last time it happened, even though we already had those laws? California has every gun law you can imagine. And after a shooting in California, our anti-gun president puts out a statement saying we need to pass the same gun control laws that California already has, but still has these types of shootings. This is moronic. They don't have any real solutions. They only have empty talking points to make it sound like they're doing something. But in the end, even when they get exactly what they want, as is the case in California, it's still not enough. And they wanna pass even more gun control laws. I keep saying it over and over and over. People just keep calling me a conspiratorial fear monger, but it's clear as day now. Their goal is to ban guns outright. They're just trying to do it one gun control law at a time because they know you all have short memories and will forget the last time we compromised and the last time before that we compromised and then the last time before the last time before the last time we compromised. All we do is compromise and then forget we compromise and then compromise again. And one day you're gonna look up and wonder where did our second amendment rights go? And the criminal now robbing you at gunpoint is gonna look at you and smirk and say, you gave them up one so-called mass shooting at a time. 
This is the if you know, you know, with the actual literal words of the Second Amendment spelled out in each of these letters so that when people come to you and ask you if you know, you know what, you can inform them exactly what the Second Amendment says, because we all know the vast majority of people don't know what it says. And you'd be surprised at how many people change the thought process on the Second Amendment just by knowing what the actual words say. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself, hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by and issued to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is gonna do a phenomenal job of suppressing this message. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can beat the algorithm and get our two-way message out to the masses. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and hit the bell and subscribe button.